Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and this is just a quick video because in the midst of the arrival of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury on Nintendo Switch, we've been seeing an awful lot of chatter about how sections like these will work on the Switch. These required the Wii U gamepad before, and considering it's entirely not compatible with the Switch, it has to use a different system. We did mention this briefly in our preview of the new version, but it's a point that seems to have so many people befuddled that we thought we'd clear things up properly. The answer for handheld is simple. We know for a fact that the touchscreen can just be used like the one on the Wii U gamepad, so that one's easy to answer. The bigger question comes when it's docked. How are you supposed to interact with objects like this without being able to do this? Well, thankfully it's as easy as holding down the R button regardless of your controller choice. This will bring up a cursor on screen which can be controlled using the Joy-Con or the Pro Controller's gyro functionality. Simply move the controller around like you're pointing a Wii remote, I suppose, and the gyro will move it around all over the place simple-like, and interact with objects as you see fit. This is really similar, like almost entirely the same as the way that Captain Toad Treasure Tracker got around things as well. Although in that game the cursor never left the screen, which could... Well, let's just say it irritated me to no end. Nice to see that this time around, it's a toggleable solution. You can see it in action in this footage which we've already featured in our preview, as Bowser's Fury uses the same system to allow you to command Bowser Jr. to interact with objects as well. We would show you it functioning in Super Mario 3D World on Switch, but sadly, at the time of recording, we are extremely limited on what we can show you. Uh, regardless though, I hope we've at least cleared things up. But anyway, that's all from me, Hus. See you later. Oh,